YouTube. I am the bearded brother. And today I'm taking a look at the Flat Pack Plus from Haley Strategic Partners. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, I'd ask that you stop what you're doing right now. Scroll down, take a look for that subscribe button. And once you found it, go ahead and give that a click for me. I do appreciate it. And without further ado, let's get straight into the video. All right, y'all. So like I said, Flat Pack Plus from Haley Strategic Partners, Haley Strategic, whatever you want to call them, HS. P, all right, and this is the Flat Pack Plus, all right. So they have two varieties of Flat Pack, uh, named right for their flat appearance. Uh, they it is a relatively flat pack, um, right? And not to alliterate and use that word multiple times, but in in reality, right, that is the call to fame with this pack. It is extremely flat. It can be collapsed into its current configuration where it's very thin, as we can see, especially when it's kept empty, maybe with a few garments, a hydration bladder in there, right? You're looking at only a few inches of width. Now, of course, the flat pack of the smaller variety, even smaller, uh, a bit narrower in width, smaller in height, uh, and of course, right, as far as depth, it's gonna be a little thinner as well, right? And so I went with the flat pack plus a little bit more room to grow, if you will, right? And the Flat Pack Plus does have a few features that the regular Flat Pack does not, namely the size, right? The expandability, which we'll take a look at here in a second, is innate to both Flat Packs, all right? So not just the Flat Pack Plus, um, but what you do get with the Flat Pack Plus that you don't get with the regular Flat Pack. Let's take a look at it real quickly here. Sorry, long pocket. If we open this up, guys, one, and they've actually just kind of modified the flat pack. So the, the first feature that I was going to mention, right, was this full zip or full length zip ability, right? So the uh, initial flat pack, Mark 1, if you will, right, kind of stopped uh, here with its zippers, right? And so you kind of got to this point, you have to pull the, the pack back. They've now come out with a newer version of the standard flat pack, which does have this full length zip. Uh, one of the other differences that was offered by the flat pack plus over the standard flat pack at the time of purchase of course right was the ability right to have these uh, kind of velcro panels on the inside right now Halo strategic actually makes like magazine carriers right so i could slap a couple mag pouches here um and if a buddy needed to get a reload out my bag he could unzip them have it right here and quickly pull that out uh they make small dividers and uh clothing inserts, if you will, that'll Velcro to this side, right? See-through zip pouches so you can keep your med kits here, uh, maybe spare ammunition, supplies, food, rations, whatever it might be, right? Admin, if you will. Uh, that's one of the other features that at the time of purchase was offered by the Flat Pack Plus, right? That Velcro on the inside. Now, as you guys saw quickly, I kind of just show that and said nothing. I kind of just throw, throw spare patches in there for now, right? That's essentially what I use mine for. But while we're on the inside, I'll open this up and we can see, right, we've got a hydration pouch, all right? And so you can drop a hydration bladder down in there and we can actually see, I've got the hanger for my source bladder, which is currently being washed right now. Uh, so I actually do typically run hydration through this pack, all right? And of course, through uh, the inside, right, you can route that straw or that tube for your hydration as needed, right? And they've actually got some bungee material, shock cord material that you could route that hydration tube through as well, okay? So again, flat pack plus, right? So I, of course, as we see, I went with the Ranger Green. They do have a few color options, right? They've got a disruptive gray, which frankly won't have all of the features, but it's a more civilian, more gray man variety. They've got Coyote Brown. They've got Multicam varieties. I think, I'm pretty sure they've got Multicam Black. Standard multicam, multicam arid, multicam tropic, uh, tropic, excuse me. Right, so they've got a, a wide variety of colors. Of course, the standard black is available, uh, and, and of course, as we see here, right, the OD olive drab green. All right, and so that's the that's the color I decided to go with. It's the color of my kit primarily, and I like that it's an overall natural color without getting into a quote unquote camouflage. Okay, and so what else does the flat pack do, right? What does it do to justify the cost, which is frankly, um, 
pretty substantial for a small backpack if you want to call it that, right? So first things first, I'm going to pull these zippers. Now I've painted these zippers white on the bottom so I can quickly identify which is which, but these zippers that I've painted and marked white, you'll see as I pull them, do not unzip or open the pack in any way. In reality, what they do is expand it. And so I've unzipped that and I'll kind of open this in horizontal mode. We see that we've got quite a bit more storage capacity in just that one pocket alone now that I've unzipped it, right? And so the volume of the pack is expandable, right? And so I think the theory is, right, if you were moving into an area, maybe you're collecting intel or whatever you're doing, right? And you arrive on scene and suddenly, right, your, 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 your need to store goods has expanded. Well, the pack also will expand to kind of meet your needs. And frankly, this is about the size. If I had to sum it up and give you guys something other than the volume numbers that I'll put on screen, I would say this is about the same in size of maybe a standard Jansport backpack that you'd have, you know, for your son or your daughter, right? This is a pretty small, um, but substantial in size backpack considering that it all collapses down at any time just with the use of those zippers right you can quickly get that pack back down to a small manageable flat size right just like that and so I like this pack one as a backpack right it's not the best as a backpack if we flip it over here we'll see that these are uh, what we get in the way of straps Right, and so essentially just a nylon loop, if you will, right, and it's it's run through these uh, these plastic loops right there at the end, right, and so of course with the hook and loop, I can fix that and resize these uh, shoulder straps as needed, right, but not the most comfortable as a backpack standalone, right, and frankly, right, not the most covert, just the same. It does, of course, lend the ability to run it as a backpack. Now, where the expandability comes is when you decide that you want to switch it up, right? So first thing, right, as I flip it back over, once again, we'll notice, right, if we look here at the top, we've got, here, you can see, right, I've got these nylon loops and they're kind of running through uh, what essentially is molly webbing here in the back of the pack, right? And so I'll roll in some footage here in a bit but frankly, what these are, what, what this, what this, uh, this loop, if you will, this nylon uh, string or flap, if you will, is, is used for is I can strap this onto the back of a plate carrier through the molly webbing, similar to the way it's hooked here, right? And of course, run this on the back of a plate carrier. I will roll in some footage of that now. All right, guys. So here's a quick look at how the flat pack plus. Uh, looks mounted of course on a plate carrier right here's my JPC 2.0 and I've kind of loosely got this flossed into the back molly right and of course here on the bottom as we saw previously right we've got these these straps of course with a kind of stiff piece here it kind of keeps that from working its way out and frankly without doing a whole lot right that's on there pretty sturdy right okay and of course that hydration pouch that I've got on the inside, I can naturally route through my shoulder straps, right? And so again, quick look at how that flat pad plus looks mounted on the plate carrier. And so as we saw, it's quickly adaptable, easily adaptable to a plate carrier. And of course, right when you're done, you can kind of tuck these back in as needed, right? So they're out of the way if you're running it as a backpack. But frankly, that's not all. This kit can frankly be expanded um, a bit further, right? And this is kind of the way I typically run this flat pack. If, if not on the back of the plate carrier, right? I kind of use this as a hydration pack. You know, I like to run it on the back of my chest rig, right? And so I think that my plan in the future is to run this as a backer to my chest rig slash hydration pack, if you will, and I'll maybe move a smaller flat pack onto the back of my plate carrier that we saw before. Neither here nor there, what I'll show you now is how it can quickly be adapted for use on a chest rig.
have it, right? So from chest rig, from well, frankly from backpack and chest rig to a fully assembled chest rig, backpack uh, combination, if you will, in under three minutes. And frankly, I was not rushing. I wasn't scrambling to get that done. That was a leisurely pace, right? So under three minutes, it can quickly be converted to a chest rig. All in all, the flat pack plus guys, it's a solid, it's a solid piece of kit. The only downside to it, I would say, is right once it's on your back in a configuration like this or on the plate carrier, right? The only downside to it is that you really can't get to what's back there without taking the kit off or having a buddy kind of grab something out of there for you. Without further ado, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here. I'm a bit of brother. I'm gone.